Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing great and having an amazing day. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get free boosters in the game. Now, there are so many methods and so many ways to actually get the free boosters in the game, uh, which some of them are, I'm going to be discussing right now. But before I'm going to be harvesting my crops, I'm going to plant something. Let's, let's see if I have a good derby task to do. There's an lettuce task again. Let's see if I can get this because I already completed one and I'm so tired of these tasks already. Right, let's see what the board says. So we haven't got any of these cucumber tasks yet. So I think I'm going to take this anyways. All right, guys, let's do this. Okay, and let's plant some. All right, there I go. Let's plant some of these. The reason is that these tasks take a very long time unless you have a lot of fields. Currently, I only have 148 fields, which are not a lot, so I actually need to wait so many hours to complete these tasks. Alright guys, so the first way to get the boosters in the game is your boat otters. Now you guys can see, boat is completed, you can see I've got a voucher, and below the voucher you guys can see there's a gift sign which indicates the presence of a booster. Now, the, now there are special boat events in which you get booster for 24 hours. Now if I send this boat away I'm gonna get a random booster which could be anything. Let's see. Alright, I got a machine booster. So you guys can see I got minus 40% on three machines for eight hours. Now mostly I trash the machine boosters because I I really don't need them. So you guys can see I have to spend 30 diamonds to keep this booster, which is not worth it. So I'm literally gonna trash it. Or I can swab it as well with the boosters that I don't want. But currently I don't have any kind of booster that I don't want, so I'm just gonna be trashing this. Away. So this is the number one way to get boosters in the game. You're gonna ha have some boat events in which you can win unlimited boosters for 24 hours. Obviously, you're gonna spend a lot of diamonds. So there we go. I'm gonna trash this. All right. All right, guys. The second way to get boosters in the game are your mystery boxes. Now, mystery boxes are really random. You can find them somewhere. You can get a lot of things, and sometimes you don't find them. So I'm gonna be looking around if I can find any mystery box, and if I I can see if I can find find something or not. So you guys can see this farm is highly decorated. Let's uh, go to some other farms and have a look if we can find any mystery box around here. Okay. So mostly you find like two or three times a day in the mystery boxes and probably one or two times you can actually open them for free. So let's see if I can find any around. It should be here in somewhere. If I see something shiny happening, then I'm going to tap on that. Alright guys, here you can see I found a mystery box and if you're lucky you're gonna get something from this box and even if you're more lucky you can find a booster as well so let's see what I'm gonna get. Alright you guys can see my mystery box is locked, I'm not gonna spend three diamonds to open it, that's not worth it. So if you go in at the probabilities you're gonna find the chance of getting the boosters. You can see all the boosters that are present in the game right now and there are least chances of getting the booster. So if you're lucky, very lucky, you might find any booster in these um, mystery boxes. And my favorite boosters in the game are Rose Booster. I don't like Ernest Booster, but I do love the Rose Booster and the Tom Free Booster. These are amazing. They really help me a lot in the game. And I'm definitely not gonna spend my free diamonds. So let's get back to my farm. All right, guys, some other ways of getting booster in the game are special boxes in Greg's farm like Christmas boxes, like we had Halloween boxes a few days ago, so now we're having this Christmas calendar, and you guys can see I found a booster. So if you're gonna open this box, you're actually gonna find a lot of good rewards, including some really, really good five stars boosters, and guess what, you don't even have to pay diamonds to keep these boosters. These boosters are gonna get automatically saved in your storage, which I think is a really, a really great thing. Alright guys, the next way of getting the free boosters in the game is basically your floating chest in the town. Now it's the same case as with the mystery boxes, it's all gonna depend on your luck and if you're lucky you might find some boosters or any other thing from this as well. So even if I tap on that, it's locked again. Um, it's gonna need five diamonds to open, but don't open it, it's never worth it because I've tried and all I got was trash. Like things that I don't even need. So you guys will go down and you will see the 
chance of getting the boosters. Really rare, but you can find if you're lucky. So you can see that the Tom booster for 5 hours have 0.19% chance, which is very low. So you might not be getting this a lot. So you can see boosters are very rare to find in these floating chests and mystery boxes, but you can find them if you are lucky. Alright guys, the next way to get the free boosters in the game is basically your catalog packages. So if you tap right here, um, this thing close to your post meal, you can see it has all the gift cards that you have collected so far in the game. So I'm going to collect all of them basically. So you guys can see that I have a total 35 gift cards. And you guys can see uh, there's a special offer for the director and let's see the probabilities. 6% chance of getting the tractor and I've never ever in my whole life found a single tractor from these packages and, and I don't know why that happens. I'm not going to spend them right now. So if you guys want to buy any of these packages, you can see 10 gift cards for small, 20 for medium and 30 for large. So if you go in here, there are probabilities you can see the chance of getting the boosters. And then again, it's very low and you can find every single booster is present in here. And you can see that the pink ones are for the helpers in Tom. You can see the green ones are for crops, machines, and basically your trees. So you can package any of these otters. And I'm going to be basically um, ordering this. Um, let's order the first one. Alright, and you, you will notice that Alfred will arrive with holding um, a box in his hand. So let's wait for him. Alright guys, Alfred is leaving after leaving the package. I'm going to be opening it. Let's see what I'm going to get. Alright, got nails. Not worth it, but I got one nail. So you can find the boosters as well, but the chance is very low. Alright guys, the next way of getting the boosters in the game are, it's like one of the very common ways of getting the boosters, is your Derby Threshold Rewards. Now to get this reward, you're going to have to play Derby, you're going to have to cooperate with your whole neighborhood, and you're going to have to complete these tasks. For example, if you would see right here that we're doing some tasks, so you guys can see our whole neighborhood is currently doing different tasks, some are doing truck tasks, milk tasks, so whenever you complete a derby task you get points for that, make sure you do 321s, and when you get the points you can see your whole points up there, so we have collected 16,249 points so far, and I've got 3 threshold rewards right now, and here you guys can see I have a booster as well which is faster crop growth but I'm not interested in these and if you're lucky you might find Tom Booster Rose and Ernest Booster as well and currently this is a bingo derby so you're gonna get three lines extra rather than your usual derby so you guys can see we're actually completed we've already completed 50% of our tasks but we're we have a lot to do with these harvest tasks which are really frustrating so complete your tasks in order to win these threshold rewards and you might find a booster in here. Alright guys, the next way of getting the booster in the game, which is actually a new area, is your Valley Shop. So whenever you go into Valley Shop, you can see there are different tabs that you're going to unlock in several days and you're going to find a lot of boosters in here. For example, wait, here you guys can see this is a fill boat crate booster, you can find this to 600 tokens. You have more coins, 25% coins for 600 red tokens. If you go below, you can find more boosters. So there are a lot of way too many boosters right here which are going to cost you um, some tokens and they're going to get stored automatically. You, you don't even have to pay anything. So you guys can see there are a lot of um, boosters with a different amount of tokens. Now I don't personally buy a lot of boosters from here. My um, Variety is basically the scrolls and the puzzle pieces, so that's what I always choose. But you can find them from here as well. The next way to get boosters in your game is basically your threshold, mid-level threshold rewards. So here you guys can see I have a total of 5 thresholds currently, and these increase with the level. When your level increases, your threshold increases. So you guys can see you have to complete uh, different amounts of XP in order to unlock these mid-level threshold rewards, which could be anything. It could be even a booster as well. So you guys can see 30 to 3, um, and here you guys can see I've got a way too many. So I'm not even close to 131,000. This 320,000, and this 509,000, which is of course a lot. So, if you are lucky, you can find one booster in any of these 
mid-level threshold. So just try your luck and get free boosters. Alright guys, the next way to get free boosters in the game is special booster event or threshold rewards in the event. Now if you guys see, this is a special fishing event which is going to give you a lot of boosters. So every threshold reward is actually a booster. First is for, um, fish one, then earnest, rose, boat, and XP. So you can also find a lot of boosters in your actual global event threshold rewards. So just complete these events. If that's a truck event, you have to complete a certain amount of trucks. If it's a boat event, you have to send a certain amount of boats, and then you're gonna find these boosters as a reward of your threshold um, in the event. All right, guys. The next method of uh, getting the boosters in the game is basically same as the boat. You guys can see this is an event truck deliveries, which are gonna give you free boosters. So some of the trucks will have a sign of gift um, below them, and if you complete those orders, you're gonna get a free booster, which could be any booster in the game. Maybe you want that, or maybe you don't. So you guys can see truck deliveries, complete the truck orders, and win some boosters. Now I personally did not complete a lot of truck orders when there's any kind of um, booster even because I, I've got to have to spend diamonds to keep them which I don't and I don't even get a lot of good boosters from these truck events I do get a lot of good from boat events but I don't know why I don't get a lot from truck delivery events alright guys the last but not the least way of getting the boosters in the game is your wheel of fortune so you will randomly find a free booster which could be any booster fishing booster town booster rose tom any booster and then you have to spin the wheel of fortune so if you're lucky you can get you can win a free booster and you guys can see that currently in this Wheel of Fortune, you can see the arrow is indicating a fish booster. So you have to spin this wheel in order to win any booster. You guys can see here is my booster collection. So you can see I've got um, Tom, Rose, Bowen, and XP. So you can also see the diamond sign, which means that I've purchased them from the valley. And whenever there's an event for the boosters, whether it's a boat event or a truck event, make sure you use these boosters quickly so that you don't really have to spend diamonds if you don't have diamonds. But currently, I have some diamonds, so whenever I get a good booster, I actually spend diamonds to keep that. For example, I spend 20 diamonds to keep this one, which is going to help me a lot in my derby tasks. Or if there's any fishing event, these really help a lot. And then I've spent, um, I guess, 25 diamonds to keep this one as well. So I might be using these later, and I'm just saving them up because I have diamonds. So if you don't have diamonds, what you can do is basically you can use them quickly so that you always have some extra space to store the boosters. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more heady videos. And I'll see you soon with another new video. Till then, enjoy the game and see ya. No way I'm gonna give you my ginger. Mm-hmm.